Also wir haben bisher äh, auf jeden Fall gesehen, dass tausende Aktivistinnen und Aktivisten aus ganz Europa hier auf die Straße gegangen sind, um die Eröffnungsfeier der Europäischen Zentralbank zu stören und ein Zeichen zu setzen gegen die Sanierung des europäischen Kapitalismus auf den Rücken der Lohnabhängigen. Ähm, wir haben gesehen, dass es ein ganz vielfältiges Bild gab, jetzt bis heute schon an dem Tag, dass es Blockaden gab, dass es Sitzblockaden gab, dass es Auseinandersetzungen mit der Polizei auch gab. Und äh, im Moment ist die Lage auch immer noch relativ unübersichtlich. Das heißt, man muss noch sehen, wie die Lage sich weiterentwickelt heute. The, the violence is what I'm suffering in my life to every day. What is all the people around me suffering every day, not having a future, not having basically a right, dignities, welfare. That that's real violence, no? The desperation. But we are not here to, to lose. Yeah? That the sense of losing everything is the violence. This is an incredibly important moment uh, in Europe, and not just in Europe. Um, I think since the election of Syriza um, and the rise of Podemos in Spain, uh, there is a, a, f a feeling, suddenly an openness, that we can reject this agenda. And the whole world is really um, you know, on this, this attempt to say no. And here we have this incredibly uh, anti-democratic, um, Uh, ugly attempt to override the, uh, you know, the, deci the decisions of, of, of the people in Greece and to make an example out of Greece, right? To say, if you try to choose another road than austerity, uh, no matter what kind of democratic mandate you attempt, things will be worse for you. We will punish you for it. So this is not just about Greece, although I care deeply about Greece, and if it were only about Greece, it would matter. But it's not just about Greece. This is about, this is about Spain, this is about Portugal, uh, this is about Italy, the fact that this has reawakened the fighting spirit. It's about the entire world who's facing uh, these, these, uh, these brutal policies. We are here because we would like to build another kind of Europe starting from below and the cooperation between social coalitions in all our continent. I mean, Blockupy has been a political platform in which heterogeneity and plural and different uh, political paths uh, have had the capacity to meet up and to merge uh, within themselves. And I think that that's the, the reason why we have chosen to be colorful during this morning with different colors like the blue one, the red one, the green one. And this is the reason why we will be with this rainbow complexity during the demonstration of this afternoon. Because we think that only if we can unite all the different color of European resistances, we can actually achieve a real change in Europe.